Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. So glad you could join us on this Saturday night. This is Kevin Harlan along courtside with Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge on our sideline. And checking out Utah's opening lineup. Sexton is the point. Clarkson is in at two. We'll see Markinen and Collins at forwards. And it's Kessler in at the five. And for the Suns, the big three for the Suns all on the four. Booker and Beal is the guards. And KD at the four. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic, and it's a Kogi in at the three. And one thing, Greg, you notice about both these teams, they look to play through the passing game. And all the better for us. I mean, as fans of the game, seeing that kind of flow and teamwork, it just makes the game fun to watch. Now, here's Clarkson. Shoots the three. One up, one down. Jordan Two points Clarkson. with his first shot this game. Clarkson draining one from deep, something he has to continue to work on. Stretch out the floor. Duran against Collins. Jack and that's foul. a foul called on Lowry Markinen. First person that's foul. his first foul. First team uh, foul. Kind of a ticky tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. Collins against Durant. And they call an illegal screen. Yeah, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Here's Clarkson. So, Greg, when you think about the Phoenix Suns, what do you think fuels them the most? Kevin, I mean, the fact that they had a 2-0 lead in the 21 NBA Finals and lost... This Taking team is two really shots. battling to get back to that stage. And if they do, they want to take care of business this time. Well, the Utah Jazz GA have one of the highest win percentages in NBA history. And they're probably the greatest franchise to never win a championship. They made the finals twice. Unfortunately, they had to face the Jordan and the Bulls both times. Just another part of Devin Booker's amazing offensive game. He finds wide open guys. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Sexton, the pass to Collins. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen absolutely great that makes the turnover even more painful and the gamble paying off and booker kicks to beal from deep nailed from three-point land and bradley beal is going to stretch out a defense with that kind of range. Oh, here's Collins. Last game we saw him score 13. Sexton with it. Guarded now by Durant. The shot by Sexton, no good. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. Jordan Clarkson. First you talk about explosive scoring. Wow, Devin Booker, Brent, one of the most explosive players of all time. Devin so awesome Booker. to watch him when he gets rolling, Kevin, and that can happen in like three seconds. Uh, he's got such a great flow and control of what he can do offensively. Free throw, good Booker. And the Jazz seem ahead of schedule, Greg, but where can they take another step forward? Well, turnovers have been a problem. They commit a lot, and they don't force a ton either defensively, so closing that differential will help them on the possession battle. Shooting four or five to start the game, that's got to be a feel-good. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. That ties the game. He's got his second bucket of the night. They can't miss four for four and warming up the burner. Jazz have gone four or five from the field so far. Larson outside. High arcing shot. He gets that one. Larson's got nine. Such a such a tough shot to master there. Clarkson 
feeling more and more comfortable, it looks like, with that floater. Beal, the pass to KD. Beal against Clarkson. And finished off by Nurkic. And a hard finish there, guys. Yeah, and only one hand needed for that one. Sexton, the pass to Kessler. To the middle. It's hauled in by the Suns. This is their first chance this season playing the Jazz. And two teams at vastly different ends of the standings last year. But they played each other to a draw. Beal, the pass to Nurkic. Shoots over Markinen And good as it just snugs right down through the net. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Utah. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. You know, Greg, one place you really see Walker Kessler making his presence felt is on the defensive end. And boy, he has got a nose for blocks. That means that he's able to detect shots for him. Get a hand on the ball. It is such a gift that allows this guy to make such a big difference on that side of the ball. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Eubanks comes in for Yusuf Nurkic. And Gordon subbed in for Josh Akogi. Kessler finds Markinen to the paint. Here's Olenek. Well, he keeps adding strength and conditioning through the years. A big help to Kevin Durant there on the defensive end. Outside for Beal. This is it to book. Three-pointer. Here's Eubanks. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now, here's Sexton. Hasn't made one yet. Here's Kessler, and it's blocked. Outside, Beal, and stolen by Sexton. Here's Markinen. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And Markinen really that time going strong. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Two minutes Sun. remaining in the first. Two minutes. Pass to Gordon. Here's Eubanks. He's covered by Kessler. KD on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Tries again. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And, and that's a Defensive great foul. play on the backboard yeah, for him. Right. I mean, it's what First we expect. All his second chance points foul. do not come by accident. It is still early finish. in the season, Greg. We'd, we'd like to think we have teams figured out, but, but do we really? Not at all, Kevin. This is the time period where fan bases freak out because of records. It's still a lot of identity to be found with every team. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Kata bates Diop checked in for Durant. And Grayson Allen subbed in for Booker. Now, here's Olenek. He had 15 points last out. Takes a three. Allen with the rebound. Suns lead by five. Kicks it to Beal. And left here in the first quarter. Accurate with a jumper from the elbow. Fields got his third basket of the night. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Here's Horton Tucker. He's covered by Beal. Olinick has the open look, and it's off from three point range. Outside, Beal. Allen outside. Hendrick 
Hawks pulls it in. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the end one, and this time they're not backing off. Sensible. It's Once. good from long range. Three-point field goal. 15 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And here is Beal. Eight points for him. Off with the layup. Bradley Beal, he's been the guy making things happen for the Sun. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We've got more in store for you right after this. Just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And from what we've seen, guys, from the Suns, uh, what are you thinking so far? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. Suns leading by four. Akogi and Durant are the forwards. Evan Booker out there with Allen. And it's Bull in its center. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. Now, here's George following the shot by Kevin Durant. He lobs it up, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Booker with no one around. Good on the triple. Booker's got the lead up to seven now for Phoenix. So good at finishing around the gaps in the defense. And when Booker gets in the space, he's going to let it fly. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Lori Markinen has gone from a bit player to a starring role on offense. Son says it's something that I have to get adjusted to, but going forward, I have the room and the mentality to be more aggressive. When I watch film, I always see things that can become so much better. I have a long way to go and a lot of room to improve. Kevin? All right, good stuff, DA. Thanks. Interesting for a guy his size, Collins a guy who can score at all three levels, so an all-around offensive game. Ari Markinen's checked in for Utah. Last season, GA, the Suns trading tons of picks, plus good young players, all for Kevin Durant. And then this summer, trading for Bradley Beal, it's clear they're going all in, constructing a super team to try and bring Phoenix its first NBA title. Now, here's George. Devin Booker missing his last shot. George against Booker. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. That's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. And Phoenix making a change here. Nurkic has checked in, and Utah with a change here, too. Sexton's checked in. Booker kicks to Durant. Pass to Okogi. On the wing, Booker. Shot clock at five. Launches it. Rebounded by Clarkson. Jazz trail by three. Pass to Kessler. Out left to the wing. From deep, Collins and the Jazz. John another Collins. three. three John Collins goal. continuing to show that he's willing to work on that three point range. Outside, Katie. Passes to a Kogi. Nurkic with it. Over Kessler. And the Suns miss again. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with rhythm. 
Sexton attacking. 11 feet away. Nurkic with the block. At seven feet tall, Nurkic, not easy to get around. That time throws that one away. Outside for KD. Allen in the post. He's covered by Clarkson. Hits. Got that one from Nurkic. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for Phoenix. But their defense has been so aggressive right out of the gate, wasting no time shutting shooters down here with authority. And you make the most of second chance opportunities and you're in there and active, boy, that can really put a lot of pressure on the defense. Clarkson taking his time here. Up and in for the basket. Jordan Number Clarkson. four. That makes him four for five now. And sometimes Jordan Clarkson, when he's feeling it, he can get crafty out there. Beautiful dribble move. There's the feed to Nurkic. Outside for Durant. For three. So smooth on the three from Durant. Oh, what a great option he gives them on every possession. And the Jazz call time the here. Jazz, In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrated for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Count it good. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Suns moving the ball around. Nurkic the best to book. Basket good. Booker's got eight. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now, here's Sexton. No scoring in this one. Here's Kessler. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second person. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. Yeah, good job to take it right at the, at the line. For the the Jazz have looked good at the line. Kessler. They're perfect Two in shots. four attempts. And look back a season ago. They did a solid job at the line. About 79% of their free throws. Kata Bates Diops checked in for Kevin Durant. You know, Brent, I've got to ask, now that the age of college basketball dynasties is more or less over, do you miss it? Yeah, I don't know so much if I've ever thought about it, Kevin, as dynasties, or so much as powerhouse teams that every year you see Phoenix. we're competing at the Jim highest Hamburger. level in the NCAA tournament. So, not really. I love the open competition, and I love that players have a choice now to where it is that they can control where they're going to make the biggest contributions collegially. That free throw missing. So, Brent, thinking back to the 2020 bubble, the Suns went 8-0. and uh, clearly the springboard for that group. Yeah, amazing, Kevin. The team had missed 10 straight playoffs, and a lot of talk was made that that time in the bubble helped them to come together in ways that next season they weren't going to be denied. And they made the finals in 2021, and the franchise won 64 games in 2022. So the Suns are as bright as ever. The Jazz again can't hit it. Really excellent defense there. They know he's capable of knocking it down from the outside, and they could not have played him better. Little dishes to Gordon. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Great finish from Gordon in traffic. You like to see the smaller guys operate down low as long as they're patient. Here's Horton Tucker. Defended by Booker. Pass to Hendricks. Now Horton Tucker. And Taylor Horton Tucker is going to pick up the foul. Taylor. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Bradley Beals checked in for the Suns. Pass to Norkic. Here's Bates Diop. 122 left in the first half of basketball. Here's Gordon. And he uses the glass on the lane. Now it's a seven-point Suns lead. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Cranes the three-pointer. 
Hendricks has got his first three points of the game. He does so much out there to stretch out the defense when he's out on the perimeter and he drains the triple. There's 45 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Gordon. Plays it up off the glass. Gordon's got six. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Here's Olenek. Great D that time from Nurkic. Phoenix leading by six. Feeds to Gordon. And he gets it back. And I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Here's Sensible. And there's the pass to Abaji. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. Outside, Beal. From the arc. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Suns ahead. They lead by five. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. High scoring affair, Brad. How would you assess the first half? We got to defend. We're not going to outscore this team. We got some of the best scorers in the world. We got to defend. That's the only way we're going to win. So, second half, we got to be a lot better. We'll see how that turns, Brad. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Things were going Phoenix's way from the beginning. Their lead at one point was up to seven, and they had some real nice momentum going. And guys for the Suns, Kenny, what was your impression? Their passing is what kept the offense rolling. The communication has been tremendous. Guys are working as a unit and not as individuals. They've got to repeat that kind of ball movement. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Utah? Well, I'll tell you what I saw in the first half, Ernie. Three things. Saw defense. Not enough pressure, but they can still win this game. They need to ramp it up. Is that two or three? Doesn't matter. You understand, Ernie. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You gotta like what Jordan Clarkson has done in this game. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Getting underway here in the second half. Here's Will Hardy's five. The four and the five. It's Collins and Kessler. Sexton is the point. Clarkson is in at two. And it's Markinen in at the small forward position. Here's a Kogi. Still scoreless. And the clock. It's deflected. Heel against Markinen. Clarkson outside. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Well, near the basket, sometimes you got to do some things with the basketball just to get it up on the glass. Pretty creative shot there from Jordan. Katie against Collins. Durant kicks to Beal. Shoots over Clarkson, and that one is good from Bradley Beal. Beal's got ten. Well, Beal can really score just about anywhere. Don't be surprised when he knocks down shots from the mid-range. When we talk about Bradley Beal, still a phenomenal player, but someone who's getting older. Yeah, no doubt Bradley Beal, Greg, is a veteran in this league now and a guy that wants to compete for titles. So 
along with staying healthy, Bradley Beal is looking for something bigger. Some contact's not going to dissuade a big like Markkanen. Doubles down on the shot, and he gets it. On the wing, Booker, defended by Sexton. Takes the 13-footer. Booker, no good. Jazz trail by three. To the inside. Here's Clarkson. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Well, a lot of ways that Clarkson can beat you. Most of the time, it's off the dribble. But when he's shooting the ball well, he's a dangerous offensive player. KD finds Booker. Action coming off the assist from KD. He's got 12. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on him. Duran against Collins. Outside, Sexton. Nice concentration oh, to hit Sexton. the double clutch layup. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Beal, the pass to a Kobe. And here is Durant. He dishes it to Beal. Shoots over Clarkson. Got a piece of it. And he stays with it from deep three-point land. They get it back. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. Utah trailing here. Here's Markinen. And they're unable to get the time basket there. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Booker outside. Into the lane. Over Sexton. A nice shot by Booker. Booker's got 14 points. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Pass to Kessler. Arkin in with it. And that one is good. Lowry the defense Martin. not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. You know, Greg, after a few seasons of development, Lowry Markkinen has really emerged. And he's such a unique player. It took him a while to kind of figure out how to maximize all of those talents and, and also minimize the weaknesses. But boy, has he arrived. And the Suns here with a different look. Eubanks, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Bowl comes in for Kevin Durant. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for Josh Okogie. And Allen subbed in for Devin Booker. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. Beal with the steal. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Personal foul. First team foul. And Beal makes a great selection there. He commits to that. Physical defense is not going to take him out of the way. And he draws the foul. And the first one at the line is good. And GA for Bradley Beal. Finally a chance to contend with these Phoenix Suns. Yeah, for so long, folks wondered how long he played was in a losing situation in D.C. Now he has an opportunity to play into June. Allen, that's good. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Suns. They have been a wrecking ball defensively. Coming up with steals, being active with their hands, and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. Well, they've been fantastic tonight, really enforcing giveaways and getting scores on the other end. I mean, if you get a few more possessions like that, the confidence grows. You win that turnover battle. The shot by Beal, no good. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Horton Tucker, the pass to George. The Jazz working the ball around now. Goes back up. Rebound by the Suns. 130 left in the third. 
It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. The transfer of the Phoenix Suns last season to new ownership ended a tumultuous chapter for the team and for the league. The new leadership aggressively made the trade for Kevin Durant last year and for Bradley Beal this summer. It's a great roster, and the Suns' $4 billion sales price reflects the sense that this Phoenix market is one of the sleeping giants in the NBA. Kevin? I agree. On the rise. David, thanks. The Suns making a switch here. Littles checked in. And a switch here also for Utah. Olenek's checked in. Clock at four. Pass to Horton Tucker. And stolen by Gordon. A finish. And it's Gordon finishing it off. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. You have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. So it's Utah now, following the score by Phoenix. Olenek can't hit. And here are the Suns. They're on a 14-6 run. And it's blocked. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. Suns ball. Peter Page Diop checked in for Eubanks. The Jazz making a switch here. 35 seconds left here in the third quarter. Al Gordon. He's got 12. Six on the shot clock. Passed a little from outside the arc. Horton Tucker with the rebound. Jazz trail by nine. You take your time. You don't give them another possession. And hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. Here's Sensible. Another miss by Utah. And so it's the Phoenix Suns ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're feeling very confident shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. We come back right after this. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up. And that cut was wide open. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Jazz trail by nine. Akogi and Durant are the forwards. Grayson Allen is out there at Booker, and it's Bates Diop in at the five spot. Phoenix is out there for Phoenix. And there's the foul. It's on Keita Bates Diop. That is his first foul of the game. Bounce pass Collins. Here's Sensible. Just five to shoot. Loose. Great job preventing that ball from coming into the post. Might have been an easy two if the defense wasn't there. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. And it's Sexton penetrating. Banked in off the glass. Colin Sexton. Sexton's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Jams. Top Durant. He's guarded by Markinen. Phoenix, no good that time either. Jazz trail by seven. Here's Sexton, and he could not get that one to go. On a contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Devin Booker. Sexton, not one of the bigger guards in the league, but he plays with tremendous tenacity. Some changes for Phoenix. Use of Norkic. He's checked in for Bates Dion. And Beal subbed in for Grayson Allen. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Booker the pass to Okogie. 
Back to Booker. Now, here's Nurkic. He's covered by Kessler. Beal gets a wide open look. And the Suns miss again. Yeah, the defense there in chill mode. We all know he can burn them from three point range. Baseline J on the way. Pulled the Clarkson. shot a little left, but the Assist bounce from. goes his way. Collins Sexton. Clarkson doing his best to keep that mid range jump shot from dying off. Beal, the pass to a Kogi. Your catch dishes to Booker. Let's it go. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Now, here's Collins. Back to Clarkson. Shot from the top of the key, and it's good Jordan off the back Clarkson. of the rim and in. Clarkson's got four points this quarter. Uh, and that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but gets close. He's getting the ball. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. That shouldn't be much debate there. And this shows you what a superstar KD is. I mean, the NBA world stopped when that deal was made. Yeah, you just shift the access of the league. Look, you have this elite scorer, this unbelievable all-world talent. And when he gets on a roster, I don't care where it is, all of a sudden you have championship aspirations. Look how Durant uses his wily frame there to get off those shots. Not an easy shot, but for him, man, it looks Second team foul. At the line for Phoenix, Kevin Durant. So Sexton will bring it up for Utah. Utah calls timeout. Kind of like what Devin Booker is doing in this one. Gotta be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. Able to listen in on Will Hardy's huddle with his team. Now he's encouraging them to keep attacking in the paint. He said, when we get inside, we score. Simple as that. Keep attacking and don't settle for anything that's not at the rim. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Now, here's Clarkson. Six to shoot. Shoots over Beal. Another miss by Utah. Suns lead by eight. Durant inside. Working on Collins. Collins with some nice D. Outside, Sexton. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Third and a moment to check out now what Utah has coming up on Monday. They'll be matching up with Nikola Jokic the and the Jazz. Denver Nuggets. Collins then on Sexton. Wednesday, they'll be facing Stephen Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. Free throw good, Sexton. Well, Sexton has the kind of ability out there where he's shifty and fast and strong. Can make some exciting plays happen for his team. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Here's a Kobe, and here's Booker from the arc. The offensive rebound, Nurkic. That's in. You said That's his fifth said. field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Clarkson passes to Kessler. Markinen dishes to Clarkson. Fires the three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Norkic has got rebound number eight now on the night. Down low. Stolen by Collins. Markinen against Beal. Outside, Sexton. And good. He nails it. And what a turnaround from the first half. I mean, he's been incredible here in the second half. Suns lean by six. Now here's Durant. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Oh, KD just filthy from the mid-range, unguardable most of the time. First personal foul, third team foul. 
And of course, you were known as Bones in your playing days, but what were some of your favorite NBA nicknames? Oh, Kevin, I've been so fortunate to be around the NBA for so long. I go way back to Jordan names like Clarkson. Iceman, George Gervin, or Dr. J, Julius Irving, or Pistol Pete Maravich, one of my favorite players, but is there any one better than Magic Johnson? Here's Booker after Jordan Clarkson's bucket. And here is KD. Here's Nurkic. Uses the glass to finish the way. Nurkic has got the lead back up to nine now Utah, for the Suns. Call. Utah calls timeout. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Devin Booker. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. And that one good from Clarkson. And the strength of Clarkson on this play. Awesome job fending off the defense and not letting that deter him from scoring. Phoenix calls timeout. All right, Suns fans, here come your Suns Panthers. Suns leading by seven. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Booker looking around. Outside Gordon. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Markinen. Phoenix has gone over three so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And Booker kicks to Gordon. Booker inside, defended by Sexton. That's his sixth miss and 12 field goal attempts. Here's Clarkson. And the layup's good off the glass. And now just a five-point Suns lead. This guy's a gamer. Collins against Booker. Fifteen left to play in the final quarter. The pass to a Kobe. Five on the clock. Over Sexton. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. 105 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Clarkson. Count it. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Jordan Clarkson coming through in the clutch. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Sun. Their biggest lead of the game was not. Passes it to KD. Here's a Kogi. He is guarded by Markinen. A Kogi misses. So it's the Jazz now. Markinen passes to Collins. Got it! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Collins not the first option, but wow, stepping up. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. No good from Booker. Oh, it's just incredible with that spin. Shook and loose from the defender, but he just can't gather his balance there to follow through with the shot. Time call here. The Jazz decide to talk it over. They trail by three. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 21 seconds left in the game. They get it again. Kicks it out to Collins. Left side, Sexton. Another shot. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Devin Booker. And for a point guard like Sexton, a guy who handles the ball in big moments, will be at the line in this spot. 
And he does get the second one. And Suns that brings them out. within two here. Timeout called. The Suns, they're up by two. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Seconds left in the fourth. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the fourth yet. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. And an intentional foul right there. Jazz foul. John Collins. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three point lead. You get the feeling that KD loves the pressure because he knows what he's capable of doing for this team. And that's curtains for him. Some really good work at the charity strike to close this one out. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. 15 foul. Shooting for Utah. So the first of three is good, and that narrows the lead down to just three. John Collins does not have the highest free throw percentage, certainly on the team, but he can knock them down at a respectable clip. And no good on the third free throw. So he ends up going two of three. And now we've got the intentional foul. Team is in the penalty. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. So it's the Suns taking the W in a close one. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done. And the Sydney's fans home happy. And just now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kevin. A big win. They're a very good team. How hard was it to get the win the way they were playing? Well, they got the heart of a champion. You know, their coach is unbelievable. He does so many good things with those guys. So we knew it was going to be a game. And, you know, they just kept fighting and made it tough on us, man. I'm glad we, we got this one out. Yeah, you guys really pulled it out at the end, Kevin. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. And we'll see you next time.